see ISIS that goes in and they take children and ask them to renounce Jesus and the children won't do it and they cut their heads off before the parents. In and front then, of the parents. And then they rape the mothers um, and all that. Let me tell you, that's not human, that's demonic. It's what I think, I can't demonic. prove it. But you know, in years past, we've known a level of demon possession. Yeah. And it was like demons that you could cast out and that kind of thing. But right. we have entered into a time now mm -hmm. to where this is a level of demonic activity that I've never seen before. Yeah. It's, it's like demons, roving demons, marauding demon spirits has now taken over the bodies of people in that Islamic world. And they're doing things that it's not human. It's like they don't have a human bone left in their body. This is demonic. It's very. But I'm going to tell you something. It's not just going to be in the Middle East. This thing is working its way around the world. Look what's happening in Canada today. Yeah. Look what happened in America when, when he shot all those people at the base. That's right. That, that's a level of demonic activity that we haven't been used to. And the Bible clearly says in the book of Revelation, you know, that there'll be unclean spirits loose from underneath the Euphrates. You know, and the Bible even says that during the tribulation period that, that demons will come up from the heart of the earth. They'll have scorpion stings and they'll sting men upon the earth. There will actually be interaction between demonic spirits vomited up out of hell during the tribulation with human beings. So what I'm trying to say is this. I'm trying to say that the, the tribulation is encroaching. That's what the Holy Spirit said. He said, I have many ministers. And they are speaking on my behalf. But he said, what's missing is the urgency of their voice. These mega churches are really cognizant not to offend people. And they're really careful when they get up and preach to people that everybody leaves out there feeling really good. Preachers refuse to preach on the coming of Jesus Christ. Where's the urgency? I have never seen America in the place where we are right now. If you think that all the persecution is going to remain in Iraq against the Christians, you better think again. It's already coming into this country right now. If we don't tell people what they need to hear, God's going to hold us accountable and their blood will be on our hands. Whenever we preach, we've got to preach with an urgency in our voice that we need to be right with God if anything should happen to us. There's things right now in motion that may change our nation almost overnight. And for me to stand here and act like everything's all right, I can't do that. The politicians in Washington may can do that and lead you to believe that everything's gonna be okay. But in the house of God, there's got to arise a siren that says, blast, 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 attention, attention, attention. Things are changing and they're changing quickly. We've got to have preachers in the pulpit that will say, watch out, warning, warning, red light, warning. People know something's going on in the Middle East. They know something's going on in Iraq, in Iran, in Damascus. They know about Iran. And people that's not even scripturally literate are trying to answer these things and they're missing in a million miles. And God's saying to the preachers, get up and tell them. It's time to talk about what God's doing. People are seeking the Lord. People are seeking Christ. And if they don't find him in the church, where are they going to find him? I have a question. Where? 